Mr. Calvo, two minutes. Thank you, Chairman. I don't think this report um, does enough to recognise the further possible problems down the road across accession countries where there are all areas with strong pro-Russian feelings already. We all know, to put it bluntly, that Mr. Putin is, to say the least, not a very nice person. But my concern to this report is exactly that highlighted by Mr. Mamiskis at, at the front, where by taking this at stance, we're actually digging our, you know, we're allowing Putin to dig his heels into the sand and show from his point of view, what, the Russian, what he wants the Russian people to see, a stronger show of strength. Um, you know, we're playing into his hands. We, we're doing exactly what Putin wants us to do, and this is the biggest tragedy. Now, with particular mind to my own Ashkenazi and Romani background, one of the reasons I got, I, I got involved with my political party in opposition to the European Union many years ago, 19 years ago now, was because I saw as the European Union ex expanded, more federalism came along, we would see a loss of sovereignty in, and I think Mr. Ostrovichus and Mr. Tannock have both highlighted, quite rightly, uh, the St. Petersburg summit is taking place at the moment with various politicians from far-right groups across the European Union. And it's my contention, again, we're playing into those people's hands by, by allowing you know, further integration, further federalisation. You know, it does result, regrettably, in nationalism. Um, in answer to one colleague, there is no big stick. Defence spending is a major issue across all the EU member states. Um, and it's my contention that this place will perhaps use this as an opportunity, as highlighted by Mr Juncker recently, of a call for a European Union army. I have to agree with my colleague Mr Castell, though. A diplomatic option is the only solution here. As much as we, you, know, we, you, we, you people want to show strength, and I understand why you want to do that, but we have to continue talking. Um, and, of course, we have the wider issue here of the rise of Islamic fundamentalism with ISIS. Just like we had to deal, regrettably, with Stalin back in 1941, we do have to bear in mind we need to use Putin's approach uh, through the links he has with countries across the Middle East, which is don't trust Western countries in an approach to deal with that wider threat to, to really moderate, moderate civilization that really hasn't been seen since the birth of fascism in the 1930s. Thank you, Chairman.